Hey guys, welcome back to Mark and Design. Today, let's learn how to simulate a beam using ANSYS. This is a question for an overhanging beam. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 types of loads. One is a uniformly distributed load on the right hand side, that is 5 kN. One is a point load, called which is 10 kN. One is a uniformly varying load, 5 kN again. And one more is a bending moment at the left end, that is 50 kN. The theoretical solutions are given below. We will look into it later. Let's go to file, clear and start new. Do not read file. Okay. Yes. Let's go to preferences. Structure. Okay. Let's go to preprocessor. Element type. Add edit delete. Add element. Let's go to beam. 2D node 188. Click on OK. Close. Let's go to material properties. Material modes. Structure. Linear. Elastic. Isentropic. Let's go to. Let's type in 2E11. And this is 0.3. Close it. Let's go to section, beam, common section, this is 0.1 and 0.1, okay. Let's go to modeling, create, key points, inactive CS, first one is 0, click on OK. Let's go to copy, key point, click on that, click on OK. 6 is the number of copies, 1. And one okay oh there we got the copies done now let's go to lines straight lines one to two two to three three to four four to five five to six click on okay go to meshing mesh tool click on line set pick all number of uh, element division is 50 click on okay go to mesh Pre-call, meshing is done. Now let's go to, oh, let's see the question over there. That's the overhanging beam. Let's go to define loads, apply, structure, displacement, plot, lines. There we got it. Those are the fixed points. On line, on key points, one, and one more over there, yeah. Click on OK. Let's go to U X U Y U Z R O X R O T X R O T Y. Click on OK. There, it's done. Let's go to oh, there's a force acting over there. That's ten. So let's go to force and moment on key point. Click on the key point. Okay. F Y and it'll be negative negative ten negative okay ten thousand because it's ten kilonewton. We'll go down. Now it's um, on key point. Oh, the moment force is 50. Let's click on OK. Click on the more last on key point. Click on the last point. Click on OK. It is only rotational. That's MZ. 50,000. Click on OK. Pressure on beam. Let's click on the last point that's five over there uniform loading okay there it is and zoomed it by zoomed in by mistake let's click on the whole thing check the whole box once that is done click on ok second one fifth five thousand the other one is uh, 5000 as well. Click on OK. Uniform loading. Let's go to the other side. Let's click on on beam. Box. Let's choose the box. The whole thing is uh, chosen. Let's click on OK. At node 1 it is 
zero and other place is five thousand. Yeah, there we got it. Let's go to solution. Sol current ls. Okay. Solution is done. Close that. Yeah, close it all. Now go to general post processor. Element table, define table, click on add by sequence number SMISC3, click on apply by sequence number SMISC6, apply by sequence number SMISC16, apply SMISC number by sequence is 19, apply close. This is the uh, result that's required go to reaction solution click on okay there we go ra is minus 12.22 is the same as that over there and rb is 29.72 kilonewton that is 29586 almost similar now let's go back to this result plot result contour plot line element result let's go check for 6 and for 19 okay there we go that's the part shear force is as shown in the figure it's similar but it's in the opposite direction that's all let's go and change it to 3 and 16 okay how bending moment bending moment is same but it's in the opposite direction. A nodal solution, DOR solution, Y component, displacement. Okay, that's our displacement. Control plot, style, size and shape, off, on. Okay, there we got the 3D view. <coughs> stress, one misc stress, yeah. Click on that. Okay. We have a one miscustress. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll be back soon.